Hi! Peril is something I've covered, and I've covered it well, and I've covered it often. But I thought I'd do an updated video on payroll. A couple of videos, actually. One on the summary method for how to enter it, and one on the detailed method. Now, why do I cover payroll so much? Because so often, people get it wrong. The classic mistake bookkeepers make is they take the total net payroll, and they book it to payroll expense, and they take the tax payment that comes out of your account, and they book it to payroll taxes the expense account on the uh, book. And that's wrong. Why is it wrong? Because it's not right. Why isn't it right? Because it doesn't take gross wages into account, which is kind of important, right? I, the net payroll is what I paid you after taking taxes out. But that's not my real expense. My real expense is the gross amount that I paid you. The fact that taxes were taken out is just something the government makes me do on your behalf but I still have to account for the gross payroll. I have to account for the whole entire expense. And then there's the tax part, which includes two things. The portion that is my expense, and then the portion that I took out of your paycheck. Because i got to send it into the government on your behalf, because the government doesn't trust you to save enough money to be able to pay your taxes at the end of the year. So, payroll has to be entered correctly. And there's two ways you can do it. You can do the detailed method or the summary method. The detailed method says I want to enter every single paycheck and still somehow show just the one lump sum net payroll payment that comes out of my account. The summary method says I'm just going to enter it in lump sum fashion but I still have to show gross, take out the liabilities to come to the net and then show the tax payment in the proper fashion. So we're going to give you two methods of entering payroll in this video series. Click your choice, whichever one you want to learn today. Of course once you get done with one you can always go back and learn the other one. Compare and contrast and decide which method you think is better for you. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.